Now, being an adventurer here within the Tabs dimension comes with a lot of perks. You get your very own house. You get a bunch of friends that you can command on a daily basis. And uh, this last one might not be a perk, but you see a heck of a lot of war. Well, I can definitely say that today, I have never seen a war like this. Through some crazy time anomaly paradox wibbly wobbly timey wimey junk, these World War II troopers have been brought forward in time, but they're not alone. Their jeeps, their tanks and their planes have been brought alongside them. Guido, be totally honest with me. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Oh, jeez, I didn't realize you were that old. Regardless, these World War II fighters have come forward in time. These soldiers have taken the leap from way back when into the present. And, um, let's just say that they are not very happy. Now, guys, I am sure there is a way that we can sort this out. There doesn't have to be any battle today. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness, dude. Oh, my gosh. Um... Yeah, they really weren't happy at all. Oh my goodness. Planes soaring through the air. Tanks demolishing everything in their path. And foot soldiers so mad that they will literally shoot anything in their way. Guida, I hope those World War II fighters are getting comfortable because those soldiers are about to enter World War III. Hey, are you guys certain that you really want to fight today? I mean, you've literally been through World War II, one of the deadliest and of course biggest wars in entire human history. Are you sure you want to fight all of- <gasps> Oh, okay. All right, I won't tell you otherwise. Guida, as you can see in front of me, we have an assembly of World War II soldiers. Some of them have sniper rifles. Some of them have literal rocket launchers. And some of them have tiny submachine guns, which can still pack a punch. Guida, we're gonna be in for a fight, okay? There's no ifs, whats, or buts about it. We are about to get demolished, but we are not going to go down without at least putting up a little bit of a defense here. And I'm pretty sure that after seeing my offensive team, these guys will be, uh, they'll tuck their tail between their legs, they'll spin around, and they'll jump back through the time vortex from whence they came. I have a bunch of wheelbarrowers. Yes, Guido, well, it was the best I could do on the short time that we had, okay? These guys have the speed, the intensity, and the pace to defeat the World War II soldiers, trust me. Yes, I know they can't outrun bullets, but at least it's not the planes, right? I am hoping that my legion of wheelbarrows can rush the soldiers before they even have the opportunity to pull their triggers. Of course, they could have the opportunity to pull their triggers and they'll just absolutely destroy us all, but let's not, let's not think about that. Of course, confidence is key. And here we go, let's see them go into action. It looks like they're splitting up into two separate groups, trying to get some kind of flank going here. And let's see if they, oh, they're actually doing quite well, I think. I think most of the wheelbarrows have been taken down and now it's time for the, oh my gosh. Was that the bazookas? Okay, things have taken an extreme turn after seeing what they just did to my poor wheelbarrowers. So now it's time to pull out the scarecrows. Go get them, boys. Do something. Please don't just slowly float towards them. Please throw your crows off. They're not doing anything. Literally, a single crow was not thrown. They kind of just... Uh, gently floated towards the soldiers. It wasn't very intimidating. But you know, Guida, it could always be worse. They could always bring out their vehicles, their planes, their jeeps, and what's the last one? What am I thinking of here? Oh, yes. Their tanks. Guido, I am literally sat staring at 10 tanks in front of me. I have no idea how I'm supposed to deal with this. Oh, yes, we definitely need some kind of armor piercing unit, maybe a ballista or maybe 10,000 ballistas because trust me, that's how many ballista shots it's going to take before we even manage to scratch their armor, okay? All right, well, here's the ballista. 
Oh my gosh, what have I done? This idiot here is about to die. I've also decided to get Vlad involved because of course he has that giant spear, so I'm hoping that five of those guys will be able to do some kind of penetrative damage to the tank's armor. Pretty please? Come on, Vlad the Lad, do not let me down. All right, here come the tanks. They are marching straight up here. Let's get a better shot of these and see how well they do. They're kind of crashing into each other, but I think, oh my gosh, three Vlads have already been taken down. I can't believe, oh my gosh, look at this tank fire. Oh my goodness. That was so quick, are you kidding me? None of my team managed to get an opportunity to even move in on the tanks. They all just kind of stood there and got hit by missiles, which trust me, is not the best way to go out. Okay, clearly we need to rethink our strategy if we are to make it out of this alive. So I've got my own artillery. I've invested in a bunch of Huachas, of course, equipped with a cheerleader and um, yeah, this was part of the, the hiring process that I didn't choose, Guido. You actually chose the people that uh, were going to work with the Hoachas. So, um, can you please explain to me why you got this moron right here? Oh, he was cheap, was he? He was super cheap. Well, this is what happens when you choose cheap. But I'm hoping these Hawatchers can at least fire before they're all taken down. Oh my gosh, at least half of them have been taken down. They've all been taken down. They didn't get to fire a single shot. How on earth am I supposed to beat these guys? All right, Guido, our next opposition are five Jeeps. To be honest, I'm pretty sure this is a family of Jeeps. I mean, that must be the dad in the middle. He is considerably bigger than the other ones. Anyway, Jeeps, I am so sorry to be rude, but I kind of ran out of ideas, so uh, you get the mammoths. All right, so let's see if the Jeeps are strong enough to take the mammoths down. This is kind of, if you think about it, Guida, the evolution of vehicular combat. Back during the tribal times, people used to ride mammoths. Now, of course, they're extinct, but, uh, well, they're about to be made even more extinct if their evolutionary, uh, I guess, next step, the vehicle, the car, can actually take them all out. So uh, let's see if these cars can take their ancestors yeah, I don't really think that's how it works. Let's see if they can take them out nonetheless. Okay, so a lot of them have been knocked down, but the mammoths are still standing. We could be looking at our first victory here. Look at <laughs> What is even happening right now? They're just kind of circling around and plowing into the mammoths one by one. Uh, I don't think any of the jeeps have fallen. We've got like two mammoths for each jeep and um, oh my gosh, I think they're just too fast. I don't think they're ever going to be able to be fast enough to take down the jeeps. They're just, they're just too quick. And now they're hounding these poor last few mammoths here. And oh my gosh, they all got taken down at once. Jeez. It's like synchronized swimming. Except it's synchronized mammoth roadkill. And finally for today, we have the planes. Now, Guido, there are only three planes here and at least 50 Valkyries. I know, dude, it seems a little unfair, but let's be honest. These guys have absolutely steamrolled us all day. We have a Spitfire, a German plane whose name I can't pronounce, and a big old bomber plane. So this should be fun. This is the, once again, another evolution from mechanical flight to biological flight. I know, dude, it is quite poetic. Thank you. I spent a lot of time working on that when I should have been working on building a better army, clearly. All right, let's see it go down. Uh, oh, this is exactly what I, what I wanted. I want the Valkyries to swarm the planes, and this one's flying a little bit, of course. Mede, he's going down. Has he actually fallen? Yep, see you later, man. He's fallen into the void. Okay, so left we have the bomber and the German plane whose name I can't pronounce, and they all seem to be, oh my gosh, that guy got blasted off the edge, but he's back. He managed to recover. Look at this aerial combat here. The Valkyries are just swarming the planes in midair, but they've also got guns. And look at that gunning run. He just managed to fall or fell about at least 20 Valkyries in one go. Let's see about this one here, the big bomber. Can they manage to... Oh my gosh, they're trying to isolate him. I don't know where the other plane is. I think he might have fallen off as well. So all that's left is the bomber, who is kind of dodging and weaving all over the place, still firing out the rounds and spinning around and... Oh my gosh, we might actually do it. We may actually do it here. Maybe the Valkyries are just too fast. Maybe we can actually pull this one off. Oh, they've all kind of stopped. Oh, what's happening? 
It looks like the Valkyries are trying to get close, but they're just getting shot out of the air. They really need to dive on this guy. Have they done any damage? Oh my gosh, we're down to like the final three Valkyries, maybe final five. Um, <laughs> this is just insane to look at. This is the most bizarre thing I think I've ever seen. This plane is like break dancing in midair or something. This is unreal. Um, okay, well, there can only be one victor. And it's up to these Valkyries to pull off the impossible here by using their biological flight to take down the mechanical flight. But it looks like those bullets might be a bit too much. And now there's only two Valkyries left, I think? Okay, someone's got to pull off a miracle here. Maybe if the plane flies off the edge just like we saw a second ago. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's only two left. Oh my goodness, it's nail biting. This is so close. I think anyway, without being able to tell. I think this is... Yep, that goes to the plane. Done. Well, Guido, we fought valiantly. We did our best to form a team, an army, a squadron of fighters, which would be able to sustain the attacks and defeat the World War II soldiers. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to do that. Now, unfortunately for us, Guido, there has to be a consequence to our actions. Yeah, well, remember what I said about having a house at the start of today's adventure? Yeah, that's kind of going to be given to the World War II soldiers now. 